another one. Poor choices in life. I am 29 years old, and you know, it's incredible how much time I've wasted following celebrities on the internet and binge watching TV shows. I mean, think about it. All those hours scrolling through their perfect lives, the endless photos of luxury vacations and designer outfits. And don't even get me started on the TV shows. Hours upon hours lost to fictional dramas and sitcoms that, in the grand scheme of things, don't really matter. Message! What makes it even worse is that I also got a useless degree that didn't equip me with any real life practical skills. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are so many real life experiences I've, I could have had skills I could have learned, and goals I could have achieved. But here I am, lamenting the time I'll never get back. And, as a bonus, message, I wanted to include a, what I consider to be a stupid comment on that post, right? This <clears throat> Don't beat yourself up too much. It's easy to fall in the trap of chasing the unattainable perfection of celebrities and TV are literally built to be addictive. Also, a useless degree doesn't define your worth or potential. Think about all the people who never had the chance to go to college but still have gone on to do amazing things. The past is the past and you can't change it. But you can decide what you are, what you do moving forward. So why did I call this a stupid comment, right? Because if you tuned into the um, candid conversation from Monday, talking about you should be hard on yourself, you should beat yourself up when you do stupid things, right? And why should you beat yourself up? Because you need that pressure, you need that pain, you need the suffering so that you don't do stupid things anymore. I think the reason that we continuously do stupid things is because we are not hard on ourselves enough. We have to be harder on ourselves so we can get into that winning mindset. I hate, I despise, I, it really makes me, it boils my blood when I lose and I know that it's my fault that I lost. I could have done something differently, but because I wasn't properly prepared, I lost and I suck because of it, right? So I totally believe in being hard on myself. Is it bad? Maybe you might think so, but no. It, when I'm hard on myself, I fail so much more forward because I put in a additional level of effort so that I can be more successful than I was, right? So that's, that's why I say that um, you should be hard on yourself, right? Now, let's go back to, um, let's, let's go through this a little bit, right? Um, so I know I wasted plenty of time binge watching TV shows in the past as well, but guess what? I was also um, working. I think I could have got a lot more done if I wasn't wasting my time watching those, those shows. But, uh, but trust me, like I'd be up to very late working and developing stuff, trying to figure stuff out, you know, gaining so much different knowledge. Like, I'll, I'll tell you this. One of the reasons that I am so amazing with CSS and locators and all that type of stuff is because um, back in like 08-ish, oh, around the time of MySpace, believe it or not, MySpace. When you could create these custom layouts, right? Uh, we like me, me and my buddy. Um, we were we were creating these amazing MySpace layout layouts for musicians and models and stuff like that. And it was all based on like we create a a background image, 
and then we would have to use CSS and Z indexes to place the like the the way that things would look and the and the um the links and all that cool. It was really, really cool, right? But speaking of leverage, right? I was able to leverage that information to be able to um do good websites, right? Have clean code. And then when I went into QA and into automation, be an expert in locators for CSS selectors, for XPath, all that good stuff, right? And and that's because I would I I I I took every opportunity, right? And so I understand like uh, I I wish we would make smarter decisions in our twenties, so we can leverage all of that energy that we have uh, and not waste the time. But you know you're gonna waste some time at some point, right? But maybe if you check out the time cost calculator, you will waste less time, potentially, right? But um, but here's the thing: we look to celebrities and people on TV, and we make really, really bad decisions when, when you could be following the Tech Coach Rock YouTube channel, right? And find out different strategies, different ideas, so that you can make long, you can have a long lasting career and not try to make, you know, not be lazy, not try to make quick money, all that useless stuff, right? So with that being said, when we look a little bit more forward and it says that, you know, you could have achieved great stuff. Yes, you could have. And uh, now you're here lamenting. Well, what are you going to do about it now, right? So that's one thing I agree with this stupid comment is what are you going to do about it now? But I do think you should beat yourself up, right? And in beating yourself up, um, oh yeah, let's not, let's not forget about the useless degree. Um, it's, I, I believe the, the useless degree is a cause of two things, right? Bad parenting and acting off of our feelings and our emotions, which is probably also part of bad parenting, right? So um, I think that that's one of the ways that our parents failed us and not properly guiding our, like trying to be, trying to give us, um, quote unquote, freedom to choose what we want when we, we, we don't know anything. How can we choose what we want when we don't know anything, right? I, I was actually listening to a um, to Patrick Bed David interviewing Khabib. I'm not even gonna try to say his last name, right? But the the MMA person uh, that you know, 29 and 0, undefeated, right? Destroyed Conor McGregor, um, made him tap, right? But he said that um, where he grew up, you know, within his family. There wasn't any um, freedom to do whatever you wanted to do, right? That strict discipline, right? And look at, look at all of his achievements, right? Look at his demeanor. I appreciate that, you know? And I just think that we, we need to be stricter. We need to make better decisions. We need to plan better because... That is how we will continue to, um, that, that, that's, that's the reason that we continue to fail, right? When we don't make these, um, we don't have good plans in place. And then we end up wasting our 20s watching TV shows and idolizing celebrities who don't give two craps, not even two craps about us or our lives. They just want to take our money and they have like they just give us the worst, worst, worst advice. All right. So and then we get these comments about oh don't beat yourself up. No, beat yourself up. Get better. Do something about it. Right. Um. We can we can blame the TVs. We can blame the celeb the celebrities. All of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, it's we, it's we are looking at ourselves in the mirror and we need to make a change. Right. We need to make a change. We need to go get some skills that that will benefit us. Um. And 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 here's the thing that annoys me. Right. When you say that, um, they said, so in, in the comments says, also a useless degree doesn't define your worth or potential. No, but it, do, it does define your debt, right? It defines your debt. <laughs> the useless degree defines your debt because now you have to go and beg for student loan forgiveness, right? And then they turn you down and now you are left with your hand out and you're like, what am I going to do? So now 
You need to go learn something. Something that's going to add value into society. And something that's going to pay you very well. All right? And uh, go do amazing things. I agree with that. There, there are plenty of people who never went to college, never had a chance to go to college, probably to their benefit. And they still have gone to do amazing things. The only difference is by them not having the chance to go to college, they also didn't have the chance to gain, to accumulate a lot of debt. All right? So I agree. The part I agree with the comment is the past is the past. You can't change it, but you can decide what you're going to do moving forward. So the question is, what are you going to do moving forward? If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.